Hi everyone, welcome to the second part of Dinosaur Tutorial. If you didn't watch yet part 1, you can click the link above the right corner or in description of this video. There you can also find the link where you can purchase everything what you need for this project. And in this part I'm going to show you how to crochet the body of dinosaur and horns. So let's get started. First I'm going to show you how to make the body of dinosaur. So start with magic ring and then chain 1. Then make 8 single crochets into the magic ring and we will count the chain on the beginning as single crochet. So you will get 9 single crochets together. Ok, now you can pull the starting tail and tighten the magic ring. Then you have to join the round with a slip stitch. And I'm going to uh, insert my hook into the first stitch, not in chain. In next round make two single crochets in each stitch all the way around. And mark the beginning because we are going to work in a round. And I'm hiding always the starting tail behind my work because it's more comfortable for me, it's less work at the end, so you can follow me if you want or you can sew the starting tail at the end inside the body of dinosaur, it's up to you. Okay, in previous round we have increased every stitch. Now increase the first stitch, so make two single crochets in the first stitch and then make just one single crochet in next stitch. So in this round you need to increase every second stitch, so make two single crochets in every second stitch all the way around, then meet me back again. In next round we have to increase every third stitch. So increase the first stitch, make two single crochets in the same space and then make just one single crochet in the next two stitches. And increase again, so now two single crochets. And continue working two single crochets in every third stitch all the way around. Now we are going to make just one single crochet in each stitch around, so it will be round without increase. Now we have to increase again, so make two single crochets in the first stitch, then just one single crochet in the next three stitches. One, two, and three. And now you have to increase again. So make two single crochets in the same stitch and continue working like this all the way around. Now make just one single crochet in each stitch all the way around and make eight rounds together. So you can pause the video now and then meet me back again when you have done 8 rounds of single crochets. Ok, now it's time to decrease and we are going to decrease on the beginning where is the belly of dinosaur and on both sides and in back. So. Make two single crochets together twice on the belly part. So on the beginning decrease twice and just once on both sides and decrease once in back, so on the other side. 
on the other side. So twice you have to decrease on the beginning on the other side once and once on both sides. Okay, we have decreased uh, five times together in previous round and now make just one single crochet in each stitch all the way around. So it will be one round of single crochets. And now we have to decrease again. So decrease three times on the belly part and once in back and once on both sides. So in this round you have to decrease six times together and then uh, then make one round of single crochet. So one round uh, without changes. Okay, so I have decreased three times belly part and you have to decrease once both sides and back. Okay, now we have to decrease again and I'm going to decrease three times on belly part, two times on both sides and once, just once on back part. And you can see I am decreasing with invisible way. So you can follow me if you want. Maybe you have your, your own uh, way how to decrease. Maybe you know better way. It's up to you how you will decrease. But in this round you have to decrease eight, eight times together. And then you will make again one round of single crochet. Okay, uh, it's getting uh, the right shape of belly. And now I'm going to decrease every third stitch. So decrease on the beginning, make two single crochets together and now make just one single crochet in next two stitches. Now decrease again, so make two single crochets together and continue working two single crochets together every third stitch all the way around. And you can fill it in with stuffing. So continue working and meet me back again. Okay, and it was last round of decrease. Now make just one single crochet in each stitch all the way around and make three rounds together. Okay, and this is how it looks like. We have finished the body of dinosaur. Now just make a slip stitch in next stitch and you can cut the yarn and keep the tail longer because you will use it. Okay, so you will sew it with invisible stitch to the hat. Okay, I did it. Uh, if you want, you can use your favorite stitch or my favorite stitch, what is invisible stitch. Now let's make the horn. So start with magic ring and chain one. And this chain we will count again as single crochet. Now make four single crochets into the magic ring. You can make five single crochets or six single crochets if you want, if you want to have bigger horn. I made a few uh, smaller horns and a few, a few uh, bigger ones. So it's up to you if you will 
uh, if you will make uh, exactly the same size of horns or different size. Now you have to join the round with a slip stitch and we are going to work in the round again. So mark the beginning and make one single crochet in each stitch around. You can see I'm hiding the starting tail again behind my work and then I will use it, I will use the tail as stitch marker. So I will mark the start with this starting tail. Okay, in next round I'm going to increase every stitch. So make two single crochets, uh, two single crochets in every stitch round. I need to get just this tail over here and now I'm going to make two single crochets in every stitch around. Okay, in next round you can make just one single crochet in each stitch all the way around and then make a slip stitch and you can get the small horn if you want. But I'm going to show you the bigger one. Okay, I am at the end of the round and now in the first stitch I'm going to make two single crochets. One and two and in the next stitch make just one single crochet. So in this round make two single crochets in every second stitch around. Okay, now one single crochet in each stitch all the way around and I didn't tell you I will not fill the horn with uh, stuffing, so it's up to you. Now I'm going to finish the round with a slip stitch and start the last round 
with chain one and then one single crochet in each stitch all the way around and at the end of the round I will make a slip stitch and that's all uh, I'm making this uh, I'm doing this because I worked in a round and that's all